Hello, hello, Old Twit Talks Cars. I uh, hope you're doing okay and keeping out of the way of the virus. Um, I wanted to call this 3 Series Out Front and Series 3 Out Back. But that sounded a bit trite, so this is really just a angry video uh, aimed at James Bond. Um, and the reason for that was the new Bond film allegedly features a Marine Blue Series 3 Land Rover. And the plan, cunning as it was, was to let that film be released. Everyone get very excited about these and then sell it. Of course, with everything that's going on in the world, that release has been moved from May to November. And then even then, I suspect with everything going on, that probably won't happen. So, because I need the space and want to get something else in here, uh, more of which later, uh, I'll probably sell this vehicle anyway. So this is an 83 Series 3, two and a quarter litre petrol, uh, 120,000 miles from new and I've got the paperwork that backs that up. Uh, we've done quite a lot to her since we had her. Um, so here you see the original uh, engine. I've replaced the original, I've put back on the original uh, oil filter, uh, sorry, oil bath air filter, because there was a horrible K&N thing fitted, which I've still got and could let go with the car if needed. Um, those of you that know about these things will see that the bulkhead is in great shape. No issues there, as is the bonnet. The only thing to note with bonnet and with the top of the wings is at some point they've been hand painted. But to be honest, it's never really bothered me. I like the original sort of slightly quirky patina on here. So the side of the wings are original tops have been hand painted we sprayed the wheels had them shot blasted and and painted um, we did the painting had them shot blasted elsewhere uh, you'll notice we've got the freewheeling hubs on the front here which are an important uh, addition on these vehicles keeps the wear and tear down on the drive chain um, this is our worst battle scar so again that was inherited nothing we did so that's had a fight with something at some point. Um, that's the worst bit on the car. And we have got a wing over there already stripped, um, ready to be painted. So that would go with the car as well, uh, I guess. What else can I tell you? Um, so interior, we've uh, had a new centre seat that had a horrible box in there before, so it will be th it's a three-seater now. The driver's seat is roughly the same condition as the passenger seat, so they are the originals. Middle one is new. Um, just here, we're in the in the process of replacing the um, fuel tank fuel level sensor because this one's rubbish and you don't really know how much petrol you've got at any given time. Also, I think the gasket under there had perished so when you'd fill it up it would smell a bit petrolly so that's being sorted out at the moment um what can i tell you here ferry overdrive is the most important extra on these vehicles because it does make them a lot more usable on the road so that works pretty well uh, those are about seven or eight hundred quid on their own um so you know they're a very valuable extra to have uh, like I say, 120,000 miles, I don't know if you can see that, um, but I've got the papers to add that up, uh, to back that up, so um, that would come with it. Inertia reel so seat belts, headlining has come off to leave horrible gluey stuff, so that is something that probably won't get done, if I'm honest. And the rear has been retrimmed with its original seats being retrimmed in vinyl uh, so that looks tidy and we've got a nice mat in the back there as well uh, yep resprayed wheels normal sort of dents and dings that you get on these I'd be suspicious if you hadn't got any um, all looking good. A couple of work lamps, hard top 
sliding windows that do actually slide. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, you want to see underneath, won't you? She might be tricky, given she's not jacked up or anything. Um, but the chassis on this is pretty good, so there's no holes. It's not galvanised or anything, it's the original, um, but it's in great shape. Uh, as you'll see there, we've got new springs and shocks, front and back, they're the original um, OEM fit ones and what you probably can't oh you can see the pipe uh we've got a brand new standard fit exhaust it had a horrible stainless one uh on it when we got it and that and the KNN filter made it very very noisy um now she purrs beautifully and i'll show you that on a, another video hopefully so i think that's it in essence, she's not MOT'd at the moment, she's sawn, um, she's kept in this lovely dry, not particularly warm garage, so she's never left outside and hasn't been since we've had her, uh, which partly why she's there's really no rust on her at all. Um, so I'm going to get that sender unit um, fitted. We've done all the advisories, there's about six advisories on the last MOT, they've all been dealt with. Um, so once we get that sorted, I'll get her down for an MOT um, and I would genuinely expect her to sail through. Um, so anyway, what I'll do when we finish the work in the next few days, I'll fire up for you um, and uh, we'll take it from there. Um, pop over to my blog if you're really desperately bored and hope to see you soon.